I'm out of here. You want me to come to you? Okay. Yeah, come to me, yeah. You know what the problem is? It's the fucking grandma. Oh! Holy fuck! Alright, take it down. Make it down. the problem. Look at things. The fuck are you, Batman? My wrist. Your wrist. I can't believe it. Make sure you delete that footage. Yeah! What is going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. What seems like I've been doing endless amount of bathroom renovations. We're finally doing something different and that's a load bearing wall removal. We've got all the engineered drawings. We've got all the permits. But before we start taking down some walls, let's go inside and have a look. separates the kitchen from the living room but once it comes down it's gonna add a really nice open concept feel to the main floor no more having the hassle of going through this hall of doors through the corridor here to go from the living room to the kitchen but before we get started with that we've got two shore walls or two temporary walls to build one on the kitchen side of the low bearing wall and one on the living room side of the low bearing wall the reason for that is is to support the ceiling load before we take out our structural low bearing wall once our wall comes down we've got three lvls or laminated veneer lumber to go in for our new beam they measure 11 and 7 8 by inch and three quarter by 14 and a half feet once the beam is up our new opening will be structurally sound but before we do that we got to head down to the basement because the engineers also spec that we have to enlarge the footing let's go down and have a look i'll show you what i'm talking about exposed is because the engineer wanted to see what the spec was on the footing we dug it up a few weeks ago the footing is 36 inch by 36 inch by 5 inches thick however the engineer wants it 36 by 36 by 15 inches thick so before we remove the old footing and post we're gonna leave the post over here down at the end and under the beam here we're gonna build a shore wall to support the load and then we're gonna remove the existing footing. So I've got all my tools set up. I've got all the material I need. Enough talk. Let's get to work.
all our temporary walls to support the beam are done. Now comes the fun part. We gotta chip out the old footing and remove the post. And then we gotta dig down to accommodate the 15 inch depth of the new footing that the engineer requires because tomorrow the town of Milton, the inspector's coming in. He wants to inspect the depth of the hole first before we pour any concrete. So without wasting any more time, let's go to the trailer, grab the chipping gun and start chipping out the old footing. by 17 inches, which is more than enough because our new footing is 15 inches thick and then we need two inches of concrete for the concrete floor. So that's great. The inspector will be in tomorrow morning to inspect the hole that we've dug to make sure it meets all the spec outlined in the drawing by the engineer. But before he comes in, I'm gonna build a plywood form that's gonna drop into our hole and that's gonna help contain our concrete when we pour the new, new footing. In the meantime, it is 5 o'clock. I am done for the day. I'm going to clean up and get out of here. We're going to see you guys in the morning. What is going on, everyone? It is the next morning, and our inspector came in bright and early this morning. He's given us the green light to go ahead and start pouring some concrete. In the meantime, I've already come back from the building supplier with all my bags of cement, over 20 bags of cement. So let's not waste no time. I'm going to get those bags of cement unloaded down to the basement and start missing some cement so we can get our footing poured. <laughs> Thank you. 
All right, everyone, now that our footing is poured, we need to wait for it to dry before we can put in our new jack post. In the meantime, we're gonna move upstairs and we're gonna start preparing to remove our load-bearing wall. First things first, I'm gonna cover all the furniture with some plastic, protect all the floors with some ram board, and then we're gonna start removing all the drywall. I know we have some ductwork and some plumbing in the wall that needs to be relocated. My plumber and my HVAC guy will be in within the next couple of days. In the meantime, once we get all the drywall down, I'm gonna start building all our shore walls on each side of the load-bearing wall, and then we're gonna to prepare to start removing all the individual two by six studs, so that way we can prepare for our new LVLs. So let's not waste no time. Let's start getting the room prepped so we can get our wall knocked out. see where all the plumbing, HVAC, and electrical is. The plumbing and HVAC I'm not overly concerned with at this point. I'm just going to lop everything out and then my plumber and HVAC guy will be here within the next day or two. As far as the electrical is concerned, Vinny, my electrician, is on his way. He's going to relocate and even eliminate some of the electrical. Now, thank God I got Vinny coming because there's only so many things that I can do or I'm willing to do on my own, but building the shore walls and putting the beams in by myself, that I cannot do. Unfortunately, it's very hard right now to find help. There's nobody out there that, I don't know if they're willing to work or not, but it's very hard to find even just a set, another set of hands. But Vinny's a great guy, we've been longtime friends, he's a great electrician, and he's gonna help me install the beam today. I'm gonna take a couple of quick measurements just to see where our point loads lie for our cripples for our beams. And then once Vinny gets here, we're gonna start building our shore walls, eliminating some of this electrical, lopping out the plumbing and the HVAC, and then we're gonna get our beam installed. Vinny! Hello. What's up, buddy? My savior's here. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus is here.
one, we got our shore walls built. Vinny is still eliminating some of the electrical, but this load bearing wall is basically ready to come out. We're gonna wrap up a couple of things, start lopping out some of the plumbing and the HVAC, and we're gonna start removing all the studs so that way we can prepare to install our load bearing beam.
What is going on everyone? It is the next day and first things first, I just want to thank Vince, my electrician, for clearing his whole schedule for me yesterday. He gave me a hand to install the three LVL beams. Without his help, I would not have been able to do it on my own. So shout out to Vinny from RMJ Electric. I'll leave a link to his company in the description below. In the meantime, this is the busiest I've ever been during the COVID pandemic. And it has been so hard to find people to work. I've spoken with all my trades, other local GCs that I know in the area, and everyone is experiencing the same problem industry-wide. It is so hard to find help. I don't know why. There's so much work out there. If you're at home and you want to work, shoot me a message, hit me up. I could use a hand. In the meantime, today the boys from Dunright Plumbing are coming in to relocate all the plumbing that was going from the second floor down through the load bearing wall to the basement as well as Ian Baker, my HVAC technician, will also be coming in to relocate the HVAC that was going through the low bearing wall. In the meantime, I'm gonna get the area ready to go. The boys from Dunrank should be here any minute now. I'm gonna get the area cleaned up. Let's get to work.
All right, everyone, first things first, I want to thank the boys from Dunray Plumbing. They came in and relocated all the plumbing for me. Looks fantastic. As well, Ian Baker from Baker Home Comfort came in and relocated some of the ductwork for me. That also looks great. Tucked it all the way nicely so we can build a nice bulkhead next to our point load on the main floor. But in the meantime, today, I just got back to the client's house from the metal supplier where I picked up our new three and a half inch steel post that's gonna support our beam and rest on our new footing that we poured a couple days ago. This post is replacing this rinky dink two and a half inch post. That's garbage. We've got this, the engineers called for a beefy three and a half inch post with three eighths thick steel plate top and bottom. I just went to a local fabricator here in town and got them arc welded on, one on each end. So this is ready to go. But before we put our post in, the span from where our point load is here all the way to the exterior wall is about 18 feet. The engineer has also called for another two by 12 to be laminated onto this four ply beam. He wants me to install four inch by quarter inch lag bolts, two rows every eight inches. We got our framing inspection scheduled for tomorrow. So this has got to get done today. So that way we can backfill and pour our concrete floor over our new footing. So let's not waste no time, let's get to work.
All right, everyone, it is the next day, and the inspector from the town of Milton was in this morning. He came in to inspect all the framing, our point loads, our LDL beams, our laminated 2x12 on the basement beam, our steel post. He said everything looks great, and we can go ahead and start closing everything up. But before we do that, we're gonna backfill the hole we have in the ground here where we poured our new footing, and we're gonna pour our new concrete floor, and then we're gonna remove all our shore walls. What is going on everyone? That is going to be a wrap for this video. This load bearing wall knockout project has come to an end and it came out absolutely fantastic. My new clients, Stephanie and Matt, are super happy with their new open concept. I want to thank my new clients, Matt and Stephanie, for your business and your trust. But this project cannot have been possible without my amazing trades and suppliers. First off, I want to thank Vince, my electrician from RMJ Electric. He cleared his whole schedule to come and help me install the beam when I couldn't find no help anywhere. Like I mentioned before, it's been really difficult finding help these days. Don't know why. Don't know if people don't want to work or if they're at home collecting CERB, but there's plenty of work out there. And if you want to work, give me a call. Also, I want to thank the boys from Dunright Plumbing. They came in and relocated all the plumbing work. I want to thank Ian Baker from Baker Home Comfort. He came and relocated the HVAC. I want to thank the crew from BC Painting. They came in and painted the living room and the kitchen and all the baseboard for me. But I also want to thank Simcoe Building Supply. I ordered the LVLs a month prior to starting this project from a local supplier and it turned out that they were back order. I called every lumber yard within a 100 kilometer radius and nobody had any LVLs in stock, and if they did, they weren't willing to sell them to me. They were deemed essential building only. So I called Simcoe Building Supply in Barrie, and they had them in stock, and they were willing to sell them to me. So I went up there one Saturday morning and picked them up. And if it wasn't for them, this project may not have gotten started within maybe weeks, could have been even months before we got started. So thank you to them. But if you like this video, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Facebook. I want to remind everyone to stay healthy, be safe, and thanks to all my clients and followers for all the love and support. We'll see you in the next one. Anyone ever tell you you look like Tamu Solani? No. I don't even know who that is. You know who Tamu is? No. You know who Tamu Solani is? Holy shit. <laughs> the Finnish Flash. No. No? No. Hockey player. NHL hockey player. Oh, really? Yeah. It's retired.
you won a won a Stanley Cup with uh, Anaheim Ducks. Oh, really? Yep. Drafted by uh, Winnipeg Jets. Don't know the finish flash, eh? No, no clue. Oh, well, that's going in the gag reel. <laughs>